Hey guys, Mickey from Blade Laws, Harley Davidson with you. We are looking at the third rendition of the Lowrider ST. So since this bike has come out in 2022, uh, it made a big splash on the Harley scene and we have loved it. Seems like customers are loving it too. It is one of the most desired bikes that customers are asking about. So this year is no different. They did something a little different with the Enthusiast collection. They did another three models this year. The one we have in stock is the Lowrider ST. So this is what they call the Tobacco Fade. So the first enthusiast that we saw, which is celebrating a subset that is related to the motorcycle community. The first year we saw the military style that was on the Pan America and on the Tri-Glide. Then last year we saw the Fast Johnny paint job. That subset was muscle cars, racing, uh, the beautiful racing paint jobs on all three of the ST models. And then this year we're seeing it on another three models, which is the Ultra Limited, the Tri-Glide and the Lowrider ST. So the subset that they are celebrating is music, which I know speaks to a lot of people, whether you are a music lover or a musician yourself. Me as a lifelong musician, I love this paint job. I think they absolutely nailed it with uh, the theme. So if you think about guitars, you're either going classic and you're going gold, where we're talking about gold top Les Pauls, or we're talking about you know broadcasters, no casters, Esquires, um, but very, very quickly after that, in the 1950s, we saw sunburst stuff coming on electric guitars. So depending on what era of music you grew up in or that you listened to, whether it was your folks music and you were listening to Steve Ray Vaughan and he had this paint job on his guitar called Number One, or you're listening to B.B. King, Jimmy Page, Guns N' Roses, doesn't matter what it is, you can find a sunburst guitar that's probably in your genre of music. I can pick up this guitar and I can understand what makes it special. I think they really nailed it. I love some of the little details that they put in. There's an LP or a vinyl record here on the tank badge, which I think is really unique. I wouldn't have seen that coming. That's probably not something I would have thought of. So kudos to the designers for that. There's also a little guitar pick painted on the front fender, which I think is a really nice touch. I think the paint job is beautiful, especially looks good on this bike. Every once in a while, Harley will do little things to where everything just falls together. And I think the wheels really work with this paint job. We saw that last year with the anniversary collection and they put on the Street Glide and the Road Glide Special, on the anniversary editions, they put the bronze wheels on them, even though the Special would come with the black wheels. So I'm happy that this bike came together like that. We do see it on the Ultra Limited, which is only coming in the black finish. I think it looks great on the black finish. And then on the Tri Glide, it only comes on chrome finish, which is, you can make the argument that's the difference between you liking a rosewood fretboard or a maple fretboard. But um, this bike in particular, I think we're lucky to have this in an enthusiast again. Uh, the first year when it came out in 2022, it made a big splash, obviously, as this bike. And then the year after that, we're seeing it as an icon bike in the El Diablo. So that was a numbered bike. The enthusiast isn't a numbered bike, um, but it is a special collection. So this bike, is a stock lowrider st with the paint job so you're going to see an upgrade in price of 1900 dollars on this specific model uh, they do vary the ultra limited i believe is 2900 and the triglide is 4000 on this particular set so the enthusiast collection bikes are not numbered bikes like the icon bikes um, one thing that i do think they could have done on this and i'm going to give harley a little bit of a gripe on this is that it's a rock and roll themed inspired bike and really would have liked to have seen the stereo come in with this bike. Came in on the Icons on the El Diablo and I really would have liked to have seen that come on this one as well. If this were me and I was getting this bike, that would be 
the first thing that I would do. Anything rock and roll themed, you gotta be playing rock and roll music out of it as well. Even though this isn't a numbered bike or a serialized bike like the Icon Spikes, they are a limited run. So each model, Harley's only going to make 2,000 of these. So each dealership should probably see two, maybe three throughout the year. So definitely if you like this model, call your local dealership. This one is already sold to one of our customers, but we did check with him and he's going to let us take it out for a ride. So we're going to see what it looks like rolling down the road as well. I'm sure once we get the other Tobacco Fade models in, we're gonna get those on camera as well. Uh, I'm excited to see the Ultra Limited, I think. They haven't done an Ultra in the Enthusiast, so we've seen the Tri-Glide come on. This is its second Enthusiast rendition. First year was Pan America and the Tri-Glide. Second year was the ST models, Road Glide, Street Glide, Lowrider ST, and now we're seeing the second rendition of Enthusiast Lowrider ST. In my mind, it's, it's the third version because we do have the El Diablo as well. So clearly Harley is understanding where the market is on this bike. Uh, this bike is killing it. They've done a really good job of getting this bike out and making sure that it's seeing an extra color this year, um, an Icon's bike last year, an Enthusiast this year. I really like having more options because as a bike is more popular and it has fewer colors available, everybody's trying to find a way to differentiate themselves. So I know the Fast Johnny did really well last year. That was a beautiful bike. I saw people powder coating the wheels uh, white, uh, powder coating the wheels black. A lot of custom work has been done in the shop back here on Lowriders and Lowrider STs just to try to differentiate that. So I think it fits really well on this bike to have something that's a little bit out of the ordinary at only a $1,900 premium for the paint. Um, I don't think it's terrible um, here on the West Coast if you want to get a custom paint job, especially something as beautiful as this with flake, with you know custom badging and stuff like that, it's going to cost you way more money than $1,900. And there's a lot of value in having that from the factory to where um, you know these parts are replaceable by Harley Davidson. You don't have to buy a black bag and take it back to your painter if you had to replace your bag or something like that. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're notified of future videos that we put out. And if you're in the market for a bike and you live in the Southern California area, please don't hesitate to give us a call or come visit the shop. At Laidlaws, we've been in business since 1958 and we'd have no added dealer markup, no prep fees, no other dealer fees that we're adding. Hey guys, thanks for watching us here on Laid Laws Harley Davidson. If you'd like to, not if you'd like to, just fucking subscribe. <laughs> I've never thought about doing this. It looks so easy when you do it. <laughs>